now last. Has she left it to Oh, good heavens! In front of a home crowd, Kazmarek, surely Lionel Spitz, what a hero! Laos starting to struggle just a bit. She's right at the back at this stage and she's getting detached as they come into the bend for the last time. 200 metres to go. Top task, Sana Nielsen and Hedda. Still a very, very competitive race and coming around the outside. Despolari, Despolari. Well, an unexpected sprint here from Despolari. This is going to be a quick time for a B race. Nielsen, and now Laos, she's finishing, but I think, has she left it too? Oh, good heavens. Has Laos just left it too late? Laos is getting the verdict with that flying finish. I must confess, I was looking at what Tontas was doing up front, and Despolari eased off with about two or three metres before the line and let in Camille Laos to win by three hundredths of a second. Kaya hands over just in the lead to Ilyas Shanakshi. Brody Young, who's had a fantastic season. In second place for Britain at the moment. Behind Turkey, first three going through automatically. Those positions relatively clear. But what about the fast finishing? Spitz, the silver medalist in the 400. Yesterday, Spitz coming through brilliantly. Raft refighting as well. Oh my word, Lionel Spitz, what a hero. And he deserves a huge round of appreciation from his teammates. No surprise he's getting it there. Well, it's not showing on the screen, but that's a national under 23 record for Switzerland. And on our monitors, we've been told that the time for Lionel Spitz over that last 400 meters, 44-61, what a split for Spitz. So Italy, France, Great Britain, Portugal have dropped back, and then the Polish. Round this final bend, Polinari still for Italy, Brossier, and then Macaulay for Great Britain, but they've all got to watch for Natalia Kazmarek. Inside the Stadion Slaski, in front of a home crowd, Kazmarek surely round the outside, all the way into lane three. Perhaps it was inevitable as Poland take victory in the final event. The stadium came to life, the noise was roaring Natalia Kasmeret down the, down the track. She set her 400 meter personal best here last year. She was good in the individual, perhaps getting on terms of Funke Bowl was beyond many people this weekend in the individual event. But Natalia Kasmeret was cool and calm under pressure for the Polish squad. They are Olympic champions and they've shown their class here in winning this A race. Switz, the only quartet that can live with this pace now. Spain in third, then France with Norway's Jörger. It was so, so close as she fell across the line, trying to get that gold medal individually, of course. What can she do? Just off screen at this point, there she is emerging. It's always that athlete you don't realise is about to unleash. A sensational finish down the home straight. And maybe Goodwoman's going to do that too. Draft of Poland grits her teeth. Can she come back for on the inside? Is this going to be a four-way battle? Goodwoman of Switzerland surely going to seal this now. Maribel still there for France. Oh, my word. That is utterly insane. Maribel, who is coming down like a train, in the individual race, in the hurdles, getting the silver. And France have clinched it. That's ridiculous. Well, what an unbelievable performance from the French. I mean, they took over 
in that last leg in fourth place. And Louise Maravel brought them home in the gold medal position by just two hundredths of a second. So Germany from the Netherlands, then France and the Czech Republic. Just what is Manuel capable of? 51 second run up as we see a change of lead here. Van der Schultz overtaking Klauser Jetsch of Germany. Now she'll hope to hold on to this lead, but the German will want to unleash a fast finish down the home straight. And if they take too much of a breather, they'll be wary that Manuel is trying to close. So is Kuwaku. And it's the French woman producing yet another thrilling last leg. Oh my word, it's repeat from Espo. It's repeat from the European Championships. Is it? Or are the Dutch holding on? Oh, it's a photo finish across the line with Germany crawling through. Oh, just when you thought there wouldn't be more drama than there was in Espo. An extraordinary repeat as France do take the gold medal. There's the delighted French anchor woman. Vendetta Kuaku just holding off the Netherlands. Yeah, I mean the French athletics community is going to be sharing that video once again and going absolutely wild for some time.